Hello, and welcome to the third episode of The Weldicator. Today, we're going to take a look at a few different MIG and mag welding techniques. Let's start. We're going to begin with two standard welding techniques, the pull technique and the push technique. With the pull technique, the welding torch is pulled in the welding direction. This creates a slightly convex weld. The push technique, on the other hand, where the welding torch is pushed in the welding direction, creates a flatter weld. One major advantage of this technique is that you can see the joint more easily and therefore have much better control. With the pull technique, the penetration is slightly deeper. The question of which technique is used in practice depends on both the welder's preference and on the individual situation. There are some situations where only one technique can be used, for example, in out-of-position welding. Next, we're going to look at how you achieve a rippled weld, which is often a quality criterion for visible welds. A steady forward and backward motion is crucial to achieve nice seam jointing. Wherever possible, you should always weld in a flat position. This will enable you to achieve the maximum deposition rate as gravity helps to keep the weld pool in the right place. The oscillation technique enables you to apply the most material. However, building up several beads is gentler in terms of the heat input. This technique is used with high-strength steels. Here, I've prepared two sheets for a butt weld. First, the root pass is welded. It's important to ensure that this has been done well. This is followed by filling runs and then the final run using the oscillation technique. Let's finish by taking a look at welding vertical up seams. This welding technique enables you to weld the root pass and the final run at the same time using the Christmas tree technique. With this technique, you move the welding torch as if you were drawing a Christmas tree. Alternatively, you can weld the root pass separately. Air gaps can be bridged with short stops. The cooldown phases help to stop you burning through the metal sheet. After that, the filling and final runs can be carried out using the tried and tested half moon technique. The PMC mix welding process even enables the vertical up seam to be welded without any additional torch movement. This welding process combines a dip transfer arc and a pulsed arc. That's it for today. See you in the next episode of The Weldicator.